Um, today we are going to make a 3D text component that you can edit without any sort of plugins. So here you can see we've got our big text. You can come over here and you can enter your new text. Please subscribe. It updates, everything's 3D. I've got the option to do a large or a short extrude on it. And if you're on the large extrude, we've also added in a nice little toggle for a bit of a drop shadow or uh, you can have underneath. So let's get to it. All right, so the first thing we need is some big text. So we'll type big text right here. So I'm using Fat Frank. You can use whatever font you want. Obviously, bigger, fatter fonts are better. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to change my color. I want it to be yellow. Okay. Easy peasy. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to shift A. And we're going to wrap this in a component, which we're going to call, or in a uh, auto layout, sorry, which we'll call big 3D. Okay, we're going to get rid of all our buffers, our, our spacing, just zero all that out. We'll set it to center left. Okay, good stuff. So now this is on hug, so it'll expand as the text inside expands. So if I was to start typing away, my big 3D text auto layout also expands. So that's good, that's what we want. All right, next, we are gonna take our text layer and we're gonna go Command D. All right, that's gonna put it beside it. We're gonna change this to black. I'm gonna put this on absolute position. I'm gonna hit left. And now it's right above our other text. And I'm gonna just move it up in the layer panel here so it's directly below. And I'm going to go one down, one over. Maybe it's two down, two over. We'll start with two down, two over. Okay? And now I'm just going to Command D, and I'm going to duplicate that. So there it is. I'm going to hit left. And I believe I have to go one, two. And it should be lined up. And then if I duplicate that again, go over. Yeah, see, so I didn't go over on this one. I gotta go. There we go. One, two, one, two. That one. And we're just gonna keep duplicating these layers. One, two. Until we get the desired effect. Now, I think by going twos, we're gonna start. You can start to see if you do it too, if you space them too far apart, you get these ridges. So we're actually going to go, I feel like these are all wrong. I'm just going to have to just gonna do that again. <clears throat> so this one will go up one, over one. So we'll just go, so there it is, there's the original, down, over, command D to duplicate down over, command D, and now it's going to start taking that and just, the more I duplicate, it just keeps going one more, one more, one more. So there we go. So now I've got, we have one more. Now I've got my 3D text, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take that last one so the trick with this one is that last one is actually right below this guy. So I'm just going to move him and I'm going to take these four layers. I'm going to move them up. I'm going to take this last one I'm going to move it to the very top. And then I'm going to duplicate it. And the 
reason I'm duplicating it is because this is the one I'm going to add a stroke to. And then if we ramp that stroke up, you can see this is where that little shadow comes. So it needs to be the topmost layer or the bottommost layer so that the stroke kind of sits behind all the others. So we'll do that. We'll set our stroke opacity down. Maybe something like that. All right, that looks good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to go so that's all set up actually, we're good. Okay, so now we're gonna take this, our whole frame, we're gonna create a component. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna name it shadow. I'm gonna add a layer variable that says show shadow, true. And then I'm gonna grab these four, including the shadow, and I'm going to group them I'm going to do that just by hitting Command-G. And I'm going to add a layer variable to that that says large extrude. Set that to true. So now you can see if we were to turn that off, we'll actually reduce the, sh the, the extrusion down to a small one. All right, and then the last thing we need to do is select, including our shadow layer, everything that says big text. So anything that's a text layer, every single text layer in here, we're gonna to go to content, we're gonna create a variable that says text, done. Okay, that should be it. That's your component. So now, if you were to go here, we can get rid of this guy. We drag in our new component, whatever I called it. Big 3D text. So now you can see I can turn off the shadow. I can turn off a large extrude so I can just have a small one. And then anything I put in here automatically updates. Our frame updates, so it'll work within auto layouts. You push the other stuff down. Um, all the text layers follow the same um, variable so that all our shadow layers, or our 3D layers, I guess, um, all line up. So the only caveat is you can't click in. I wouldn't click in and change the text. You use your text, uh, text variable on the side here, and you're good to go. You've got 3D text that you can edit and have different variables for different styles. Uh, and then if you ever want to change the colors, you've got your selection colors here so you can switch it out to, you know, whatever suits you best. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have questions, leave them in the comments. Like, subscribe, check out my other videos. Um, and uh, thanks for watching.